Anytime that you create a gradient in GIMP, it actually gets saved as a file in your GIMP system files. And incidentally, all of these other gradients are available as GIMP system files as well. And a GIMP gradient file is known as a .ggr, so that just stands for GIMP gradient. And if you want to get some kind of an idea of where exactly on your system these are saved, the best thing to do is go to the Edit menu and click Preferences. And right at the bottom of the list, you'll see this Folders option. If you click this plus icon to open that up, you'll see all these options here. And this means that there are folders which contain files that pertain to each one of these options. For example, plugins, you might have plugged in the Save for Web option. And this tells you the options of where these folders might actually be located. So if we go to the Gradient option, you see that we have two folders listed here. And what we're dealing with here is the writable folder. So the way it's set up now is that anytime you create a new gradient, as soon as you close GIMP, that gradient is going to be saved in this location, the one that's checked. So on my particular system, that's c slash users user GIMP 2.6 gradients. Incidentally, by default, all of these preset gradients that come with GIMP are actually located in the second folder. So that's c slash program files, etc., etc. For convenience sake, you might want to put them in both, or even put all of them in this folder. But I like to keep it in the default because then I have all my presets in one folder and all the gradients that I create in another. So just to show you how this can work, you can then go to either one of these locations. So if I go into my system to computer, C, and then we have users, user, GIMP 2.6, and then gradients. And there we see unionjack.ggr. So that's exactly what we save this gradient as. And note that you don't have to do anything special to save this. As soon as it's loaded in this list, this file is created. And this has a number of advantages. Number one, you can back your gradient up. So if you've made a gradient that's taking you a lot of time or you've made a whole lot of gradients, you can save these files and you can save them to any other location on your computer. You can back them up in your Gmail account or anywhere that you want to. So that if, for example, you reinstall GIMP or move to a new computer, you can very simply open up this file. And in order to make it work in GIMP, you simply got to drop it into this folder. And if you're working on different kinds of computers, let's say you're working on the Mac at home, and then you come into the office and you're working on a PC, in order to find out where you need to put one of these .ggr files for it to work in GIMP, you just open the preferences. In this folders option, you look at gradients. And whichever one of these folders is checked as the writable folder, you just copy and paste your ggr file in there, and that gradient's going to be available to you in GIMP. One really cool thing that you can do with this is you can actually download GIMP gradients from online and then just drop them into this folder and they'll be available to you. So right now you can see that we have quite a few gradients available. But if you go over to a Google search and type in something like download GIMP gradients and just search, we can see this first option says 130 web gradients for GIMP. So if we click this option and then go down to this download link, we get a zip folder. So I'm just going to save this file. And just for ease, I'm going to save this right on my desktop. And now if I go to my desktop, it's sitting right here. So I can just extract that. And you can use whichever kind of extraction method your operating system comes with. And if we open this folder, here you have this incredibly long list of all these different gradients. So if I simply click Control A to select them all, then I'm going to go copy. And I now go back to my GIMP gradients folder. And just remember, you can check where this is in your preferences. And now go edit paste. 
it has copied all of these files in. They're extremely small, so it takes a very, very short amount of time. And I can now close both of these folders. And you need to restart GIMP in order for your new gradients to show up. So I'm going to close this down. And I'm not going to worry about saving these changes. And now I'm going to reopen GIMP. And now when we look at our gradients panel, you have tons and tons and tons of gradients available to you. So because gradients are so useful, this is an amazingly useful tool. Number one, because you can back up the gradients that you make, but also because you can find gradients for absolutely anything that you need, and you don't even have to make them yourself. Another absolutely great feature of being able to save these gradients as their own files is that they integrate excellently with a program called Inkscape. And there's a video series on that. So there's a similar folder in Inkscape, and if you simply paste these exact same files into the relevant Inkscape folder, all of these gradients are going to be available to you in that application as well.